Hi everybody, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here. Let me know that you're on the call. Great to be here. Got some exciting things to tell you tonight. I'll just wait until we get a few people on the call before I start our reading. I'll go onto Facebook and there we go. And I can see the comments easier. Who's here? Anyone here? Let me know you're here. There's a few people on the call. Thank you very much. Michelle Newton, Aussie Angel Lady here. Please like and share the stream. I'm going to be giving away a angel scope tonight. So stay tuned, stay till the end um, because you might win one of my beautiful angel scopes. Your Whatever your birth sign is, star sign is, you may win it. So stay till the end. Uh, please like and share the stream. Um, the trigger word tonight to um, trigger our beautiful little angel bot, Gabby, is dream, D-R-E-A-M. So, um, yes, so put that in the comments so that you get an extra card after the reading tonight uh, sent to your messengers. That's lots and lots of fun. And then every week on a Monday, she will send you a card for the week. So that's really, really cool. So hi, Netsy, Becky, Marianne, how are we all? Trisha, how are you? Rita, um, Ainsley, um, Becky, lots of people here. So thank you very much. Please like and share because we're going to be giving away an angel scope um, free at the end of the call. So do not go anywhere. So we'll start our weekly reading. Thank you so much for all those lovely hearts. Keep them coming. They're awesome. So our weekly reading for today, Monday the 25th of June through to Sunday the 3rd of July and halfway through the year. Who would have thought? It's just flying this year. So we're calling in our beautiful angels asking for a clear and accurate reading for the week ahead. And we're going to draw five cards like we normally do. Cards have clumped. Here we go. Using my angel feather oracle. As you may know, if you haven't got a copy, grab it. It's just will be your next, your newest best friend that will never let you down. So I'm going to draw five cards. Oh, this is awesome. Awesome. So um, I'm going to, this is very, very good. Now, last week we had uh, the area of challenge being, uh, you know, on some rom on your partnerships, your romance, that type of thing. So I hope the week, hope you took that, you know, information from the angels and used it to your advantage so that everything went smoothly. We will call in Archangel Michael now and um, I will lay five cards from the Archangel Michael Oracle, Sword and Shield Oracle, also, also available on my website, um, and we'll lay five Michael cards on top of the feather cards. So that gives us a very beautifully balanced reading, male and female energy. Okay, so when the cards clump, that tells me that um, it is time for me to draw cards. Oh, okay, Michael wants a lot of action, so this is very interesting. So stay tuned for this reading. The first card that I read is the heart of the matter for the week going forward, okay, the energy around the week going forward, and we've got the special blessing, the rainbow angel feather, which is the best card in the deck, the most magical card in the Angel Feather Oracle. Um, so with a special blessing, the Rainbow Angel Feather, with immense excitement, the angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing. Angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing. So that is awesome, awesome news to have in the heart of this week. So there's a, a special blessing coming to you this week in some shape or form. Sometimes special blessings can come and they can be seen on top. Sometimes they can't be seen, but they are delivered. So, you know, they're really, really big blessings that, you know, they can have huge impacts and keep you safe and that type of stuff. And as I speak about that, Archangel Michael comes in here with the golden mesh shields up physical body protection card that's sitting on top of the rainbow feather. Archangel Michael suggests the golden mesh protection technique to bring security and harmony to your energy field. So what this is telling me is that you're actually going to be very protected this week. Okay, so that is great news. The angels have your back. They'll be looking out for you at all times and um, they're just going to be, you just, it's just awesome. It's just fabulous, fabulous energy. Now, the next cards we look at are the area of challenge for us this week. Now, this is great card here, um, Turquoise Angel Feather, Expect Good Luck. 
the angels excitedly ask that you ready yourself as good fortune is on its way. Be grateful and thankful. Expect only the best. Now, when this card sits in the area of challenge, it actually takes the challenge out. So this is great news. So, you know, you've got luck on your side. The, the, there's no challenge this week. The angels will take it out. Your luck will get rid of any challenges you may have had. So this is very, very good news. There's certain cards in both the decks that will trump the area of challenge. And when you actually learn and study with me about how to read cards, um, I teach you all about that. So that is fantastic. This is great news. It takes the challenges out. So it's a lucky card. So challenges are gone. So it should be a really quite a great week. Archangel Michael draws, a, uh, we've drawn an action card here probably a little bit hard for you to see, which is fresh eyes, call in a third party. Archangel Michael requests that you consult a third party to assist you. Fresh eyes are required to objectively review an unfolding situation. So if you do come into something that's a little bit, there shouldn't be any huge challenges this week. It should be, for most of us, um, not too bad, okay, because you, there's luck on this side. So even if you're presented with a challenge, you get someone in to help you you call in a third party and then it should go much easier, okay? So that's what we do. The area of the unknown, so this, this is the unknown for this week, is uh, time to meditate, the indigo angel feather. The angels are ready to assist you with your development of your psychic perception and visual acuity during meditation. We've got a full moon this um, Thursday on the 28th here in Australia. So that's a very, uh, you know, a lot of energy coming through. And I think Friday is a day where that you can actually have downloads. I think Master Soul was talking about, you know, getting epiphanies and stuff like that on Friday. So round about Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday, the energy shifts with the full moon. It's pretty intense. Friday, you may, you know, get the, you know, the light bulb moment goes off and you understand what's going on. So meditation is vitally important around Thursday and Friday. This is um, another action card from Archangel Michael, which is speak up, pearls of wisdom. Archangel Michael asks you to speak up at this point of time. Your viewpoint is, needs to be heard. But this is in meditation, so you actually need to speak to your angels. Okay, so this is how you're going to bring through this golden nugget of information or the light bulb moment or the epiphany, okay? So it's actually in meditation is where you're going to get this. So you really it would be totally advisable to be taking some time to connect with your angels, especially Friday, okay? The turning point here, it's very interesting. The five, Michael, apart from the one in the middle are all red. Um, the, the turning point is the copper angel feather which is business growth. The angels are here to inform you that the hours of hard work you have put in are about to be rewarded. This will be on your line of work, the business that you own or the business you work for. Um, if it has been particularly challenging and you don't have a business or don't work for a business, um, it, things will get better in your life because the cop is always about things starting to go a lot easier. Again, Michael is asking us to ask for help. So this is... Um, get help, call in the troops, okay? So to bring in this um, this business growth or this um, like an ease and energy with ease and things getting better, you need to ask for help again. So this is like three cards we've got to, you know, call in a third party, speak to your angels and ask for guidance and help and then get help. So we need to ask others, family, friends, colleagues for assistance this week. It's a really good week if we actually action, we take action. So this is great news. We're um, the, on the outcome for the week. Last week we had our, our relationship, um, who we love or someone we loved or soulmate in a little bit of challenge. But here on the outcome, We've got the soulmate card here. It's come out of challenge, so that's good news. However, we've got to walk away. It's no longer fun card on the romance. So this could mean that you may withdraw a little bit this week if, you know, if, the, if there was challenges there or there's still a little bit of, you know, wavy energy between you. Just, um, you know, just have your space. Keep your space. This one. <laughs> Keep your space. Um, you know, when it's no longer fun, walk away instead of causing World War III. It's much easier. Go for a walk is another one this could be. You know, go for a walk, get out and get some fresh air and, um, you know, take two. 
is often good, but it's much better for the romance, for the partnership, business, if it's a business partnership because we've got the business going easier and if that was the person that you were having some issues with last week or could have had issues with, you know, it will be better this week because this is in the outcome, but there is an energy of you pulling away or having time, space, um, so that things go much smoothly. But it's a much easier week. There's blessings here in the heart of the reading and the luck is the luck comes in which takes out the challenge. So uh, a lot of action for you. This this very, very, very important this week that we ask for help. Now angels and other people. There's two cards here that indicated we really need to speak up this week. If we're if we're feeling under pressure we really, really need to speak up this week. It's not a time to go being, um, you know, the independent person this week. This is a week where um, everything's going to go beautifully when you ask for help, you know. Um, so, yeah, easier for some people than others. So thank you very much for being here for the weekly reading. Um, always a pleasure. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, here with your reading, and we're going to be giving away an, an Angel Scope um downloadable pdf to someone here so tell me has anyone got their angel scope can you let me know in the comments um yes it is a gorgeous reading amanda thank you so much so much um yes much easier than last week um oh happy birthday to tessa everybody wish tessa a birthday happy birthday to you uh yes i love the copper angel feather too kathy it's a great great card these cards aren't to be taken literally because there's so many depths to the cards and I teach that because um, I have written them. Uh, Amanda says, yay, run my own business and yes, need some help desperately. Okay, well, that's desperate times, desperate measures. So you need to open your mouth this week, Amanda, and ask for help um, yeah, from angels and people around you. Yes, beautiful Maria. Yes, time to meditate and especially Friday, guys. Um and Amanda's looking forward to the light bulb moment, which is awesome. Yes, beautiful. It is going to be a great week. Kerry Ann, thank you very, very much. So please like and share the um, the the live with your friends. Let them know that we're here. Oh, that's I'm sorry to hear that, Dee. Please take care of yourself, darling. Always have Archangel Michael in the car with you. Obviously, he was. So that's good news. And I hope things weren't too bad for you, love. Um, yes, yeah, so there we go. Um, Alison says, hello, Michelle, I hope you're keeping toasty warm. It is really cold here in Australia. Um, and D Muto is from Trinidad. Hello, D. how are you? Beautiful. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one readings. I'm just doing the general reading today. Now, um, I, and Kerry, Karen Vardy says she's just got her angel scope. Let me know what you think about that, Karen. We're getting beautiful, beautiful feedback from the angel scopes, which is fantastic. The link to get your angel scope is in the, um, you know, the little screen under the um, post. So jump on and get that because they're just absolutely amazing. I'm going to read um, a lovely, this is one of our viewers, Bron, who's always here, wrote this um, little test. She's written a couple because she the people are loving the, their angel scopes. Bron says, I'm so in awe of your angel talents. Archangel Michael speaks so clearly to me, although I must consult more with my astrological angel now that I know the name because that's in your angel scope. I will always use your angel cards both online and in hand and, and hard card for daily readings. This just adds a depth on the month by month basis love and treasure my gemini copy still to print them out and they look so good but not wanting to read all the months ahead until they arrive and she says one very happy gemini always beautiful bron and she is beautiful so thank you so much bron for that now i must say because i actually channeled all these and did 82 different readings and every single reading for every um star sign and every month was different um and it was a lot of work, but it was most, most fun. And, of course, I actually go back and look at mine because I'm a Libra, and as you know, I go back and look at my month. So it's really great to have the angel scopes because you can listen to the weekly reading, you can do your own card reading, but then you've also got this to have a look at the energies of the month coming through. Now, I'm just going to read you the Libra June um, 
angel scope because I actually went and had a look at that. So it's very good to have a look at it before the start of the month. Then it's great to go back to it at the end of the month and see how things have panned out. Now, this is what Libra said for June. The energy around you this month is enlightening, Libra. The angels are going to show up what needs to change in your life. They will literally put a spotlight onto situations or issues that need to change. And these will be more likely uh, to be to do with your home. Okay. So don't panic though, Libra. Anything that the angels feel they need to show you will come with a solution. So that's great news. It is easier to get on top of something, <coughs> pardon me, when it is small instead of leading it to get out of hand. Wow. <clears throat> pardon me when I've read that I thought oh my goodness that is so so true I got so the angels are saying here this month the angels are going to highlight something for me that needs to be changed so what happened and I, I when I read this tonight I thought oh my god that is just exactly what happened this month our water bill come we were we, we downsized or we're in a smaller home that we built and we've been here 12 months this week, which is very exciting and we love it. As you can see, I still haven't got curtains or anything like that, but that doesn't matter. But this week, our uh, no, last week, our water bill came and I said to my husband, oh my goodness, this water bill is really high. And I mean, it's not the time of year where we're watering, we don't have much garden and, and we, we he watered a little bit of lawn in the summer, but... I said, this, this water bill is really high. And he goes, well, that's not right. Anyway, so my husband went down and he checked the water meter. And it's tick, 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 continually going when there's nothing being used. Hello, angel shining down, something that needs to be looked at. So we've got on to that. It was like, it was just like I got the water bill and I went, oh. And I instantly had the knowing that it wasn't right. And then I showed my husband, he goes, oh, and he goes down, looks at the meter, and it's just ticking, the whole time ticking. No, nothing being used. There's no water being used at the time. So it turned, So we've actually got on to the people that built our house and the plumbers that did our plumbing, and they've come and they've had a look, and there's no leaks actually in the house, but they think that maybe there's a leak or a pipe broken under our concrete driveway. Anyway, so the angel scope says that, you know, they will show you um, anything the angels feel they need to show you will come with a solution. So that's great news. It's easy to get on top of something when it's small instead of leading it till it gets out of hand. So how true was my angel scope for this month? That's why I say you refer to it at the start of the month and then you go back and you write some notes. Okay, because the three cards for the month are sitting there and then I've actually channeled the reading around the three cards for that month. So this was so, so true for me. So let's have a little look. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here, please write the word dream in the comments so that you can trigger our angel bot, Gabby, who's going to send you another card. Here is a little taste for July. Okay, so there's an angel scope. What it is, it is... The angel scope's a sparkly twist on a horoscope. So it's got all about your star sign, okay, your horoscope, your star sign. So whatever, your cancer, Gemini, whatever you are. The qualities of your star sign, you know, your colours, your, your birth stone or crystal, your flower, your lucky day, your lucky number, a word that will resonate with you. Then I've got the angel content, like the archangel for your star sign. And then I go into, and plus much, much more. There's heaps of information in these. They're over 20 pages long each. Um, and then I do a reading for each month, so June through to December, because it was a midway thing. We're just we're testing it, and it's gone extremely well. So we'll do it again next year. There's no doubt. So the links, Franz, please put the link in the comments for people. And the link is actually at, at the top of the post. Uh, now, someone just said they don't have PayPal. Are you in Australia? Let me know. Who was that, Franz? Can you see who said said that? Um. We'll find that. Friends, if you can scroll back and see. If you're in, in Australia, you can actually ring our shop, which is the phone number is 0358 231 544. I will put that in the comments here, 
58 231 544 and you can pay over the phone with credit card and um, then we email it to you. So that's too easy. So don't worry if you haven't got, if you're in Australia, it's, I don't know what we do if we're, you're international, I've got no idea. Um, but you don't actually need to have a PayPal account. You can actually, you can just, you can do PayPal and just use your credit card, I think. Yes. Um, yes. So here we go. Let me read a taste for July. Okay. Are you ready? And then we're going to give away a free angel script. So for everybody, please share. Get on there and share. Um, Here's a taste for July 2018 from the Angel Scopes. It's just a little bit of the start. Aries, money is at the forefront of your mind. Taurus, this month's focus will be on the area of work, on your area of work. Gemini, this month will bring you great peace. That's nice. Cancer, there are just so many around you. Leo, healing is on the cards. Virgo, this month is a great month for you. Libra, you will be in two minds. Oh, isn't that great, Librans? <laughs> Here we go. That's what we live in two minds all the time. So obviously we're going to have trouble making decisions. Scorpio, this is the month to make a long-held dream. Sagittarius, talking to your angels Capricorn, great news this month. Aquarius, Archangel Raphael is with you. And Pisces, you will feel very calm and relaxed. So you need to get your angel scope so you know what the end of it is. Okay, so that's really, really cool. Okay, let's give away a free angel scope to um, some lucky person who is here on the call. Teresa, um, you buy it in Australian dollars and it converts it. So I have got no idea. It, I've got no idea how euros convert, so I'm sorry. Just go on there. It'll tell you. Um, yes. If you're on a phone and you click the link, okay, you need to scroll up because it brings up the top of my shop and then you can't see the angel scopes. We've had heaps of emails about it. Scroll up and they're down the bottom. Everything's easy in life if you know how. Okay, let's give away an angel scope. If you already have bought your angel scope, you can get one for your husband or one for your kid, child, friend, whoever. I don't mind. I'm giving one away. Is everybody ready? Let me know you're ready. Send me a heap of hearts so we know we're ready. Excited. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to say the name of a celebrity. What you need to do is you need to write their first name and their star sign. And the first person that I see... Please understand there's so many people on here. I can't see all the comments. The angels will guide me to see the person who's going to win it. So nobody gets stressed or upset. The right person will win, okay? Thank you, Lisa. Jess Valentine says, of this deck and it's the best deck. Awesome. Yes, it is. Okay. And I use the angel feather oracle in the angel scopes. Okay. Okay, right. Here we go. The celebrity tonight is, and you need to write their first name and their star sign. And the first person I see who writes it right, and try and use your intuition. Don't Google it. Try and use your intuition. Just have a go. Um, okay. The celebrity is Sir Elton John. So what star sign is Sir Elton John? You need to write Elton and his star sign. Off you go. The first person I see who gets it correct wins their angel scope and I will give you my email address for you to contact me straight away so that I can send it to you and it's up to you to send it to me I'm not chasing you okay so Elton John is not a Libra Elton is not a Leo no Julie Elton is not a Libra everyone's saying Libra's but he's not no he's not a Libra guys Elton is not a Gemini, Sharon. He's not a Pisces, Ansley. No, not a Libran. Sir Elton John is not a Virgo. He's not an Aquarius. He's not a Capricorn. <laughs> We're going through them. He's not a Gemini, Marianne. He's an, oh, you, did you, you didn't write Elton. You need to write Elton. I'll give it to you, Sarah. 
Sarah, drink water. Even though you didn't listen to me, he's an Aries. So Sarah, drink water. You are the winner. Sarah, you need to email me right now as soon as you can at aokangels at gmail.com. And you need to tell me uh, what your star sign is so that I can send you or whichever angel scope you want. Oh, has a blocked link. What's that all about? I'm not sure what that's about. Seems I couldn't write the... Did it work? I might just try that again, putting the email address in for you, Sarah. Because it somehow I've never seen that before. It blocked it. We will AOK Angels all lowercase at gmail.com is my email address. Sarah. That worked. Okay, so Sarah Drinkwater, you are the winner. Congratulations. Have you? Do you realise that you win, you've won? Sarah's written something about her daughter as poorly. I'm sorry to hear that. We've well, got an angel scope coming your way, Sarah. So that is lovely. Oh, bad luck, Alison. That will always will always always be next week. Don't worry. I'll give one away regularly, and I'll come on um, regularly to give them away. So you know. Oh, just buy it. It's nine ninety seven AU. It's nothing. It's awesome. Um, you're welcome, Sarah. So email me, gorgeous. Aokangels at gmail.com. So thank you, everybody, for being here. It is an absolute honour and a pleasure. I have something really, really exciting as well coming soon. Um, I will go live and announce it. Um, so I will just tell you that it's going to be a four-week masterclass with me online. So I'll talk to you more about that. Um, in another live. So I will go tonight and thank you very much for being here. Congratulations to Sarah. You email me gorgeous, aokangels at gmail.com. Grab your angel scope because the sooner you get it, the more that you can put it into place for the rest of the year. It's brilliant. Okay, everyone's loving them, so um, which is fantastic. So take care. Magical week coming and uh, full moon. Do your work. Connect with your angels Friday. Get that um, magical information coming through. And uh, you're welcome, Tricia. And, yeah. Keep your angels close to you. Bye.